Hey everybody, how's life treating you? I'm Russ Robo, and welcome back to the Russ Robo Channel News for October. I've got a lot of announcements to talk about. Um, number one, the first announcement is that I'm back from another long trip. This time, I actually went all the way out to Texas for TRF, otherwise known as the Texas Renaissance Festival. It was an amazing time. I met a lot of cool people, saw a lot of amazing cosplay and garb. Um, I, I want to tell you all about it. It was, I went with a couple of close friends of mine all the way from Bay County, Florida, all the way to Houston, Texas to enjoy the festival. It is the U.S., um, the United States' largest Renaissance festival, largest Renaissance festival in the U.S. Um, it was unlike anything I've ever seen. Uh, the largest festival I had ever gone for Renaissance or any festival and only had maybe maybe 60 to 100 attendees. This one had over like thousands, th thousands and thousands. Uh, like, what was it, 6,000? I don't know, I have to look it up. Um, it was amazing. I've never seen anything like it. It was several city blocks worth of shops, souvenirs, actors, actresses, all in garb, dressed for the role. Um, Jousting, uh, um, uh, fire, uh, what, what, what do they call it? Um, uh, firework, well, not, not just the fireworks, but before that, there was, um, uh, what, what do they, what do they call it? Like a, like a fire, uh, like a fire summoning show and, and, and create, like acrobatics, and, um, I, I'm getting off track. Basically, it was definitely one of the most amazing things I had ever seen. Uh, I had a great time. We went, Thursday uh, night in midnight and took the 10 and a half to 11 hour drive to get all the way there to the campgrounds. Camped out uh, Friday, let's see, let's, we got there Friday morning, camped out Friday uh, afternoon and we were spent, we spent all third, we spent all Friday, Saturday and Sunday there. We started packing up uh, Monday morning. I'm going to change the channel banner to something more Halloween-esque, more October-like, um, and update the uh, channel to say something, uh, update the banner to say something like uh, new episodes every week, as opposed to Monday, Wednesday, Friday, because uh, I do still intend to post those days, but I often happen to miss days, so I can at least guarantee one video a week, which is what's been happening lately, but my, my goal forever and evermore will be to always have at least three videos a week as long as I work my full-time job. Um, that's that's the most I can do. That's like that because that in itself is part-time. That that takes up at least uh, like 30 to 32 hours of my time just to post the three to four videos a week. One I can uh, guarantee at least but my goal will always be to at least part-time it, it with uh, three to four videos a week. I'm going to try to focus on some more um, like more Halloween and Octoberisque videos. I've got a few ideas like Planet Coaster. Um, as tradition would state it, I like to try to make a new Halloween theme park on a game each year. Uh, certain unfortunate events from last year's October, October of last year, prevented me from doing that. Uh, uh, Hurricane Michael. Uh, I couldn't do that because it took us more than a month to recover from uh, that incident. And I'm actually glad that, you know, I'm doing well enough now that I can try to, like, buy a new game, make a new park, uh, make new Halloween type videos, and of course I'll always be getting back to the regular content and as well as that. I feel terrible because I took my camcorder to actually record some of the stuff that I saw there at TRF, uh, but I wound up just leaving it packed in my bag and trying to do it all with my phone, so I only have a few, uh, I only have like four or five good pictures and maybe one short video of an amazing band I met there uh, called Tartanic. They play like, um, I, I don't even want to say, I, I'm afraid I would get it wrong. It's like uh, bagpipes and drums and rock and roll. That's all I'm going to say about it. it. It was like amazing and I got to meet them in person and shake the lead guy's hand and say how awesome he was and, and like... Uh, like the fireworks festival was unlike anything I uh, have ever seen. They had a uh, Roman type, I guess, um, amphitheater, very large, seating for hundreds of people, um, probably 60, 70, maybe a more shops and, and uh, 
like uh, stands. Uh, they had an area that was basically a big petting zoo with elephants and camels. I'm not lying about that. It's true. <laughs> um, they had a an what they called the Enchanted Forest, was, was which was a uh, nature hiking trail, which was a, a hiking trail through a very well kept um, like natural preserve, which was probably yeah, I guess if you go through the whole track, maybe a half a mile long, uh, to see everything. There were statues, uh, displays, uh, like historical statues and displays. Uh, there was the Agora, which was a Greek exhibit, uh, which where you know they had actors that played uh, the um, the uh, were they the Greek gods and goddesses? Um, yes, um, Aphrodite. Apollo and Talia. They have an act that's very impressive. You have to see it to believe it. I couldn't describe it accurately. I'd screw it all up, but it was very impressive. Um, I, I could dedicate episodes just to each of the things that I've seen. I got to enjoy another drink that I haven't had in years since the um, since Books a Million was doing a Harry Potter themed event for the last of the Harry Potter books. I haven't gotten to see, I haven't gotten to enjoy Butterbeer since then. They had it at the Renaissance Festival. Uh, they also had an alcoholic version of it, which I enjoyed very much, in a nice tall pina colada type glass, which I also had a nice tall pina colada type glass of pina colada. So that was great. I hope I get to go maybe next year or year after next. I'm certainly going to need more money because, uh, uh, to, to, to tell you about the scale of it, uh, I spent $300 in two days. <laughs> they have a lot of stuff there you can buy. Um, they have uh, full arm, uh, full plate mail armor, uh, leather armor, chain mail armor, real swords, like actual real gold down swords, but they're real and you can sharpen them yourself. I wouldn't recommend sharpening them, but they're real. Uh, real steel, real metal. Uh, drinks, food, games. Um, uh, sights to see, things to do, uh, like, it was amazing, it, like, it was bigger than downtown Panama City just by itself, maybe twice over, or three times over, um, I spent the last two days and still haven't seen everything they have to offer, uh, they have a fully built, like, like, basically on the ground, you know, pirate ship as a prop, it, it, it's hard to explain, it's hard to explain. I mean, you've seen restaurants near the, like, Panama City Beach area that have pirate ships as sort of a theme. Uh, like Captain, Captain Anderson's, didn't they used to have something like that? No, I think there was, I'm rambling again, I'm rambling, I'm sorry. Uh, I go on these trips and I've really got to try to record them and make vlogs out of them. Because apparently I do some really interesting stuff and I have a horrible way of describing them because, like, you wouldn't believe it unless you've seen it. You, you have, you'd have to see it. You have to see it. Still had an amazing time. Uh, things that I've never seen, uh, stuff that I've never done, people that I've never met. Uh, I got a uh, like a, a real kilt, a kilt for my amp guard uh, outfit garb, like you know a genuine like S Scottish kilt. It was great. Uh, and I've got the companies. I've got the cards, like the business cards from two or three of the companies that I bought items from so that I can buy new items from them later on. There were wizard staffs, wizard's wands, as I've mentioned before, chain mail, plate mail armor, uh, real swords, bows, arrows, anything you could think uh, weapon or armor or a garb to buy at Renaissance. There were like full on like $400 dresses like with all the, 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 the what do you call them? Uh, the things around your waist, um, uh, um, um, oh, God, corsets, corsets, full on, the full, like, uh, there was stuff that was, like, worth 600 up to, like, uh, I think the most expensive thing I saw was a full plate mail set of armor for over a thousand dollars, like, actual full steel, like, the whole thing, knight of armor stuff. I, I wish I could show you pictures. Maybe I can find some pictures online if they'll let me actually uh, show those pictures. Uh, I've heard from the like you know our friend Kelly that uh, you know or AKA Jack that took us there. 
that the fair has actually grown more and more over the years and it's actually gotten better and better and now they have their own small no their own medium and large cabins that you can rent out instead of tent camping which I suppose you know tent camping is just fine I'm not very good at it but it did save us a bit of money um, but I certainly would like that air-conditioned cabin <laughs> I'm not gonna knock that definitely not um, I apologize for not being able to tell you that I was going on such a long trip um, just to let you know <clears throat> some of the things I have to do on my own time in order to make up for the lost time since I've been gone for the last four days um, I've definitely got to work it over with my job uh, I need to use my protected time off in order to make sure that my like you know my absences don't go over the uh, maximum amount uh, allowed I, I also have a lot of chores that are backed up I need to work out my finances uh, finish all of my chores, my errands, and run and stuff and do things. Uh, I was able to actually enjoy the event, spend a lot of money without hurting the bank. Um, another major thing that happened is apparently I have a lot of car uh, vehicle troubles that I need to get to. Uh, my car won't start. I need to have a friend either jump me off uh, to get the car started or take it down to the dealership and we'll deal with that when the time comes but right now my car is a brick in the driveway and I can't move it so I might have to call a cab to get to work for the next couple of days until I can take it either down to Pep Boys or the dealership to get it fixed which the dealership will cost me a lot more and you'll have to forgive me I know I look like crap I'm exhausted thank you all so much for joining me um, I hope you all enjoyed the videos and until next time take it easy my friends <laughs>